Okay, so now we got to try, we got to continue with our z-score story. But this time we are looking for areas to the left of the z-score. Okay, so let's do the usual now, the, our new usual, which is this, and the old usual, which is this. And let's start from here. So here we go with our title. Um, our title is Z-Scores Continued. And this should be the last one about that for the moment. Z-Scores Continued. Um, find the area, problem number one, find the area to the left of the following z-score of z equals, z equals 1.95. Okay, 1.95. Okay, to the left. So again, let's visualize this with my one of my terrible graphs here. So the bell over here, whatever. Where's 1.95? Somewhere over here, wherever it is. 1.95, it's positive, it's on the right. But we want everything to the left, left of this. We want this piece, we want this piece, but we want everything else to the left, to the end of time on the left-hand side, to the end. So we said before that this one, each half of this graph is worth 500, 500. So what's going to happen over here? We should add them. We should add the two and we'll have our answer. So let's go look up the z-score again. Let's practice that. Looking up the z-score. For that, we can go to Google, Chrome, and we've got our list over here that we can look up. And we go look for, what was it? We were looking for 1.95, which is right here. It's 0.474. Let's remember that. Go back, 0.474. All right, ready to go. The It's 0.474 is how much this is worth. This is worth 500. Everything to the left. Therefore, when you add them together, you're going to get point equals 0.974. This problem is over. By the way, let me mention that if you had to put this into per, into per, percent, you move it over two to the right, and it would be 97.4 percent. Right? Decimal can be easily changed to percent, and vice versa. Let's go to problem number two. Problem number two. Okay. Problem number two. Let me put the question over here. Find area. To the left, to the left of z equals minus 2.20, minus 2.20. Again, let's visualize this thing before we get started. So here's our curve. Here's, here's our normal curve here. Terrible drawing as usual. Minus 20, 0.220, let's say it's around here, minus 0.220. We look it up on the table, look up on the table for 220. But anyway, it's minus 220, it's on the left. We want everything to the left of that, right? So we want this piece here, and that's it. We don't want this whole thing, we will just want this. How much is this whole thing worth? We know this whole thing is worth 500. But we don't want this whole thing. We don't, this piece is not, we don't want that. We just want this. That's it. So let's find how much this piece is worth, and we'll subtract it out, and we'll get this. And how do you find how much this piece is worth? By going looking up the for the z-score of 2.20 on our um, on our list on our table. We go to the table over here. We're looking for 2.20. Where are we? Where is it? 2.20 is up there 0.486 come back to this 0.486 and we are going to subtract it i can explain that again in a second before we sign off minus 0.486 equals the whole thing equals 0.014 that's our final answer 
what is what is this this is worth 0. 0.014 because the whole thing is worth 0. 0.500 and 220 is worth 486 is worth 0. 0.486 so subtract the 4.86 from the 500 and you'll get what we are interested in which is the point 0. 0.014 0. 0.014 here's the answer right here after we looked up in the table on the table and that ends at least this part about this is 11.6 this gets you ready for homework 14 maybe there's a little bit more but this is pretty much going to cover the basics of 11 um of uh, 11.6 okay so here we go we end this video